Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prajwal from Indie Crypto, and inside today's video, I'll take you through a step by step tutorial on how to buy and sell cryptocurrency using INR or Indian rupees on coinx.in. Now, previously, I had published uh, two videos on my channel on how to uh, trade cryptocurrency on coinx, but that was uh, quite some time ago and a lot has been changed from then in the cryptocurrency space even in coinx as well so when i published that particular video the uh, the whole system of depositing and withdrawing uh, inr funds to your bank accounts were completely different there were uh, around four to five cryptocurrencies listed on coinx at that point of time and uh, at the moment there are many many cryptocurrencies that are uh, listed on coinx and uh, the the whole system of trading crypto and the entire layout as well has uh, changed uh, a lot and uh, one of my subscribers also informed that he's facing some difficulties in going ahead and selling his crypto on the new layout of coinex so i thought it's a good time to go ahead and uh, redo a video with the new layout so that uh, it, it's going to be helpful for uh, everybody who gets uh, into the cryptocurrency space uh, who are newbies okay so the first thing uh, just like any exchange you'd have to do is go ahead and sign up to the exchange and submit your KYC documents uh, for coinex it requires your pan card other card and you'd also have to link your bank account and you'd have to do the transactions only from your linked bank account to coinex so assuming you have done that and uh, you have logged in so once you have logged in you will see your name displayed on uh, the right hand uh, side here and if you click on that you'll have an option which says profile where you can go ahead and uh, check out your kyc documents your bank links uh, etc security is where you will go ahead and see your google authenticator codes where you can enable the google authenticator uh, etc so once you have logged in you'd have to go to this section which says balances and click on this option inr wallet and you will see your coinex inr wallet listed here so you'd have to go ahead and deposit your inr funds to this bank account that will be listed here now please note that this video is being recorded on july 3rd of 2018 and uh, today there was a judgment from the Supreme Court which upheld the RBI circular saying no banks would have to or no bank should go ahead and provide any accounts to the cryptocurrency exchanges from July 5th so having said that I'll still go ahead and uh, record this video because it's still not confirmed there is another hearing that is supposed to be happening on July 20th and uh, if Supreme Court goes ahead and uh, of provides a judgment in the favor of the cryptocurrency exchanges this video will still be helpful else you can uh, go ahead and uh, follow this video for the sell process as well and I'll also be doing some follow-up videos on the crypto to crypto pairing and crypto to crypto trading as well you can make use of that as well so the first thing you have to do is go to your bank a uh, portal a login on your app or on the portal add this account details as beneficiary and go ahead and transfer the funds now here are a few things that you have to remember while transferring the funds the minimum deposit is rupees 1000 and the transfer must be made only from your linked bank account and in the remarks you'd have to enter your registered mobile number that you have registered with coinex and your bank account and once the transaction is successful please make a note of the 12 digit transaction reference number and once you have done all this go ahead and click on this option say submit new deposit request enter the amount that you have transferred to coinex and enter the 12 digit transaction reference number and click on submit now this will take up to one working day for the deposits to be reflecting on your coinex inr wallet so that's the process of uh, depositing INR funds to your uh, Coinex account. Now the first thing I'll do here is I'll go ahead and uh, 
so you have to sell your crypto first so that I get some INR added here and I can use the same INR to show you how to buy crypto on CoinX as well so once you want to go ahead and buy or sell you'd have to go to this section that says market and uh, you can also go ahead and click on balances and coin wallet to see what are your crypto balances on um, uh, CoinX. So if I go ahead and click on this, which says hide empty wallets, uh, I do see that I have some cryptos left here. So I'll go ahead and sell a few Stellars here to get the INR into my INR wallet. So I'll go ahead and click on market here and uh, I'll go ahead and search for uh, Stellar go ahead and click on that and this is how uh, the new layout of coinx looks like now when i mean new it's new in comparison to my previous coinx video that i did long time back uh, but this layout has been there for quite some time now so let me quickly take you through this uh, uh, layout so on the left hand side you have all the cryptocurrency tokens that are listed on coinx here you can quickly go ahead and uh, search for any of them if required and uh, you have the uh, charts as well which uh, on the green says or the green is for buy and uh, the red is for sell and the same thing continues to the order book as well on the right hand side where you have sell on the top which is uh, colored red and uh, the buy is colored green which is just below that now here if you want to just see the buy orders you can click on buy and you'll only see the buy orders if you click on sell you'll only see the sell orders and if you click on all you'll see both now here is an interesting way of how the orders are put in now here on the sell order this means that somebody is ready to sell 20 stellars at a price of 13.10 stellar or uh, 13.10 rupees for each stellar and here there is there is somebody who's ready to buy 507 stellar for rupees 12.94 per each stellar so that is what this means and when it comes to sell the the pricing uh, is listed from lowest and it goes to the highest so this is the lowest price somebody is ready to sell the stellar for but when it comes to buy it goes from top to bottom so this is um, the highest price somebody is ready to pay for the stellar and it goes on lower like that and on the right hand side you have the trade history which gives you the recent successful trades that was made for uh, this particular token so in this case you can see here the stellar is highlighted that means everything in this order book is related to stellar so a recent trade that was made was 418 uh, stellars was uh, bought and sold at 12.93 rupees for each stellar so that is basically the uh, layout of how uh, coinx looks like here and uh, you have something called as open orders here where any of the orders that you place which are not executed will be listed here and uh, on this tab it says your trades you can see what all trades you have done previously for this particular token so this was the trade i had made previously so which is listed here i had bought 59 stellars on 4th april at uh, 15.70 rupees for each stellar now i'll quickly go ahead and go to the sell option here so i would like to go ahead and sell around three stellars here for demonstration purpose and I would like to sell um, the Stellar at uh, 12.94 rupees. So let me quickly go ahead and enter that. So there it is. It automatically calculates what is the amount that uh, will go ahead and uh, get credited to my INR wallet. And uh, you can also see your cryptocurrency token balances listed here. So when you want to sell, uh, particular crypto you'll see the balance and based on that you can uh, enter your requirements here so once you have confirmed the volume of the token and at what price you would like to sell the each uh, token and uh, also the INR that you get in your wallet once you confirm that go ahead and click on sell and that will give you a, a confirmation with the fee that is being charged 
and once you have gone through all this and once you're uh, ensured that everything is right go ahead and click on confirm so there it is uh, my order is placed successfully and here you can see it on the open orders that uh, my order is listed here now this is how you go ahead and place an order if you want uh, to specify your price now if you want to go ahead and sell uh, your tokens immediately you'd have to enter this amount so I'll quickly go ahead and do that I'll just cancel this okay it says it's already been uh, done so I'll quickly go ahead and check my INR wallet here and there it is so the funds are credited to my INR wallet now if you want to go ahead and withdraw the funds from here to your bank account all you have to do is go ahead and click on withdraw enter the amount you would like to withdraw in the remarks go ahead and enter your registered mobile phone number and click on next and once it's successfully submitted your withdrawals will be processed in three to five uh, bank working days so that is how you go ahead and withdraw the funds to your bank account now let me quickly go ahead and show you how to buy crypto using the same INR that's loaded onto your coinx INR wallet so you'd have to go back and click on market for this demonstration purpose I'll go ahead and trade this particular token which is uh, nucleus vision and uh, here you can see the order book as well the sell and the buy so in this case uh, the the price for the each token is already taken so this is uh, the price that's already taken here that means if I go ahead and enter the volume here and execute this order my order will get executed instantly because somebody's ready uh, to go ahead and sell nucleus vision at this price so in this case I think uh, on nucleus vision the minimum value on coinex uh, to be traded is 40 so I'll go ahead and enter that particular amount and since I want my token order to be executed instantly I will go ahead and uh, keep the same price if you want to sell it uh, or if you want to buy it at a higher price you can go ahead and uh, uh, enter whatever price you like but that will be called as limit order and will go ahead and sit here in the open orders and once somebody uh, is selling or the price matches to your price it is when it will go ahead and get executed so in this case I'll quickly go ahead and enter this amount here 0.94 and click on buy and once you have ensured all the details are correct I'll go ahead and click on confirm so there we have it we have the order placed successfully and uh, I think the order is executed as well how do you know that go back to your balances and click on coin wallet and go ahead and click on hide empty wallets and there we have nucleus vision that's uh, been credited to my coin uh, wallet so that is basically how you go ahead and buy and sell crypto on coinx guys and if you want to go ahead and uh, withdraw crypto to your uh, wallets like your mobile wallets or hardware wallets you can go ahead and click on these options which says withdraw or if you want to deposit your crypto to coinex and sell it for anode or uh, use it to trade other uh, cryptocurrencies like for example you can deposit bitcoin and trade other cryptocurrencies using that particular uh, bitcoin that you've deposited here more on that when I make the next video on the crypto to crypto uh, pair trading. I'll go through in detail on that. So that is basically in this video. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you have any questions uh, or any doubts uh, regarding uh, anything uh, to do with the Coinex or this video, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I uh, would definitely love to answer them. And if you like this video, please go ahead and share it with whomever you think it will be helpful and also give us a like so that will uh, help me to understand that uh, uh, my videos are being uh, uh, watched and they're being helpful to people. So that's it in this video guys uh, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.